It's a program like none other in our region. The YWCA, serving Northeast Tennessee and Southwest Virginia, started a tribute to women back in 1992. It's a way to empower women by recognizing their contributions to our communities. Tonight, News 5's Christy Calcagno introduces us to outstanding women chosen for the honor this year. Tonight, we're highlighting three healthcare workers who play a significant role in the safety of people throughout our region. here to keep our patients safe first and foremost and keep our team members safe and then keep our community safe. Born and raised in Jonesboro, Jamie Swift always had a passion for health care. That led to a career and her rise to the position of Ballot Health's Director of Infection Prevention. She's on the front line of the COVID-19 crisis. The weight of the world is, is on our shoulders as we want to make the right decisions to keep our team members safe. You know, that's my watch is I don't want any of our team members, any of our community getting sick. So I really want to be able to, to put the things in place that can protect our region. And she wasn't expecting the YWCA's honor. It's kind of surprising because I'm surrounded by amazing women and, and this I just feel like this is what I do. This is my passion. It's not anything special. Like, this is just what I do. A similar response from Linda Shepard, the chief nursing officer at Johnston Memorial Hospital. And I really, truly believe if you keep with it long enough and you go down the right path and you partner with the right people, there's nothing that's really impossible. Shepard's passion to help others sent her around the globe. She traveled internationally for mission work. And so often in times we don't really think about how lucky we are and how fortunate we are in life. And so that's one thing that really, it, I think it has been the biggest thing on my heart. I love doing it. And here in the States, she continues to push for change. And Gandhi said, be the change you want to be in the world, you want to see in the world. And so that's where I am. I think there's a lot on the horizon for nursing. Another honoree, Lori Hamilton, is an advocate for health and wellness and has a commitment to serving others. This is really my purpose in life. It's my passion. It's, you know, what I have done and what I'm doing now. It, it's really not a job. Hamilton began her career as a clinical nurse, but for the past 10 years, her role as the director of healthy initiatives at Food City involves the care of 16,000 associates and countless customers. It makes me realize that um, anything is possible, you know, um, as long as you really stay focused and to your principles. These women pursued their passions and have found joy in their work in our community. You can hear more from them right now on WCYB.com. Christy, thank you so much. Now, there were actually nine women in total honored this year, and next week we're going to introduce you to three more women who continue to nurture, empower, and transform our communities. The Tribute to Women program also serves as a significant source of funding for the vital services offered to women and families through the YWCA. To help donate, you can visit our website, wcyb.com.